Lunar Magic Presents. Okay. Hey there, on This is Alcal. That's right. Super Demo World. The legend continues. Basically, the first ROM, like, completed ROM hack ever. Basically constructed to show what were the potential of Lunar Magic at the time. Strictly speaking, not the actual first released. First, there was Demo World, which is like nine levels of just, you know, just kind of showing what up. And then there's Demo 3, which I think is smaller. And then there was the completed thing, Super Demo World, The Legend Continues. A chunky 120 exit, though there are a lot of secret exits, so I don't know how many actual, like, levels there are. Rated hard in SumarlCentral.net. It's a complete thing. The legend came from breakfast eggs have been stolen. We're gonna get these eggs and make ourselves an omelet. That dastardly Bowser is going real low in his plans now. So here, here, here. Here we go. Misty island full of snow. Probably not. So yeah, I can interact with the universe at full. So yeah, so okay. So I rem... I've never played it fully, but I'm very well aware of the cotton due to watching, like, relevant Let's Plays back in the day. I remember not all... Like, I don't think a lot of the level design is gonna age particularly well, but you get a star right at the start, and that's fun. But you don't get points from, um, from Charlie. Bob, but others enemies cancel. What's a whoosh? Yeah, enemy blocks. So like we got like things like custom blocks and stuff already. Like you know things we might not think about. Wow, this star is lasting forever. But that's an illusion created by the fact that uh, I was reading, you know, text while the star was active. So it just kind of lasted longer. Gives the illusion of lasting longer. Big old rock spire jutting out of a pit. I can't believe it, but it's legit. So yeah, so I, I don't know how fast or slow this is gonna go, but at some point things are gonna get a lot harsher. So, you know, we're just gonna take things as they come. It's misty. Oh wait, we're on a big map. I saw that scrolling. You know, the mist is starting here in the misty world of Mr. Palooza. And you know what? Yeah, like, you know, you're kind of presenting the future of a new thing here. This mist thing is kind of interesting looking, like, I kind of get it. It's really, like, jumpy and flashy, and you got that guy kicking a shell down the hill. Never thought I'd see the day that I'd see the day of you. Don't know what that meant, but we're barbecue. Just gonna go ahead and make a bridge, because I don't know better. I don't know what to expect, so... Am I gonna be able to get on top? Uh, that's a legit question to ask. I don't think so. Well, uh, if I can just, like, take the top coin. Okay. Alright, I think I saved it. So now I can run and jump my beer and check out what's up on the ceiling. It's another pipe. Nothing else? Okay, so the purpose of going up here is to go here. What is here? It's the rest of the universe! This tiny little, like, cave zone. It's just so cute. It's like, in a little, like, it's all paved with rocks and everything. I got the one up! <laughs> I don't know how I managed to jump down that pit. Like, I honestly do not know how that happened. But I cannot deny that it is indeed something that happened. Like, I don't particularly care about most of anything. So I'm not gonna turn down there and get that dagger on. I'm sorry. Like, we know where it is. I'm still gonna get those I can see. But see, if you don't go in a pipe, you're just here in the sweet ledge. Then you're above where I fell in the hole. Very calculated hole placement. Uh, created to incentivize death upon receipt of this cold goblet filled with chilled ginger ale. I mean, that sounds like something that'd be nice to drink. Possibly, look at that, I got put some springy thing cover this pit before someone falls in. Or you can just go up here too. But it's not high enough, you fool! There you go, I did it. I solved a puddle. Whoa, we got plants behind plants, and we got guys jumping. I ran into them. I was very excited about the concept. Yeah, that's right, little mortar buddy. 
I ain't afraid of you. I ain't afraid of the length of your legs, and I ain't afraid of your yo-yo ball experience. That's just not that impressive. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. There's gotta be something on top of that hill one day. Like, I can see that hill. Oh, I can see it has things it wants to share, but I... It's just there. It's this big old hill in the middle of the island. Like, that's not weird or scary at all. Look at that Goomba. It is gone now. No more Goomba. The concept of... Whoops! I thought I would have landed on it, but I clearly... Absolutely... Miss... Whoops! There to jump. The jump. But it's fine. It's fine. Look at that. I don't know. Like... I don't know what I was expecting. But there's something about the general... Whoa, those bricks are weird. Like... Like, they don't bop up at all when you touch them. Like, I understand that they would crumple when you're big. But in world, like, normally if something you can interact when you're big but not small, like, they would still lift up a little bit. And the fact that they remain completely still, like, just completely bamboozled me. Like, the fact that just nothing's happening there. Like, they were like stone blocks or something. Yeah, my brain can't cope with that, apparently. Sometimes it's the little things. But nonetheless, no, like, there's something about the vibe being shown here that I don't hate. That I think is kinda neat. Yeah, see, they're crumbly blocks. They're not spinneroo blocks. We're done with the age of the spinneroo, friend. I'm gonna slide down this hill. And then, because of that, I'm gonna die, because I'm not gonna press jump on time. How about that? Did you consider that? How about that? <laughs> it's well known that sometimes, you know, when things are a bit simpler, I don't necessarily play at my best. It is a well-documented phenomena. So, let's put on our serious pants for a second. John's turtle. Wow! That guy's all like, yo, chuck it. And I'm like, you know it. Knowing about the chuck is a powerful movement. You can ascribe it to locomotion, steam-powered engine. I want to keep going. Ah, see, there's just red level. It's a red level. It's going to be two exits, and we're in Mario 3 now. We are literally in Mario 3 now. We're literally in 1-1. One, one, kinda. Okay. It's like, is that gonna work? Can you go through the wide lot? Yeah, no, 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 it is. It is 1-1. One, one. It's just, well, the Venus fire trap at the start was missing. Which I feel is an important thing to have at the start. Because I feel like it gives a lot- Oh! Because I'm- wait, am I just stuck forever now in the forever zone? This is wild, okay. Well, goodbye, my friends. Uh, <laughs> I'm off to the races. Secret bush! I've unlocked the power of the bush, and using that, I can wash my hands. Oh! See, well, okay, let's get the real exit. Then I'm gonna check out what up with that house. I think I know what up with that house. You know what? I'm actually just gonna finish here today. And uh, tomorrow, yeah, I'm gonna, well, I don't know. I don't know. How much time? Yeah, mm, I don't know anything. Give me your opinion, Goomba. Galoomba. Tomato paste, man! Look at that. Thanks to this power, I grew a whoop here. Whoosh. I cannot believe it. So we didn't, I didn't go in this pipe when I was playing Mario 3. But it would have said three! Here it says four, because Sumar World, I think, was known as Sumar 4 in Japan. Like, I'm pretty sure I once saw a cartridge, like a Super Famicom cartridge for World that was. I'm not sure though. Was it a Mario 3 cartridge that I saw? Like, just a normal Famicom one? I'm not. This is what secrets are. It's like, whoa, welcome to the house! How zone the gray question blocks or rare items will they'll do a thing and so this is this top secret area you can get all the prizes in the world but each one of them has a unique thing you can put in your inventory 
And all of them are used in that world's castle. I remember this. So there's, I, there's gonna be a secret exit in Misty Castle Plum that requires use of the Goomba House. Whoops! I didn't really look what I was landing in. That's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I'm dying a lot due to not being particularly careful. Oh, this is how it starts. It's the intro room. It's a little, you know, it's a place where you can put off your shoes and your coat. Wait, where's the coin go? Am I in a different room? Are there multiple possible passages? That's just a normal cube. That is just a normal cube. Welcome to the world of cubes. It's pretty scary. Then you go to another cube. You end up somewhere you don't understand necessarily. Look at that. We're gonna deep fry or we're gonna deep fry a fry. Here we go. Flip to the other side. Do you need to? I'm gonna bop that guy. No, you don't really need to. You can though, because it's fun. Ain't no need no other reason than it's fun, man. Alright, boil that bread. Have a soup. Uh-oh. Uh, this is honestly kind of scary. Well, I'm not getting that coin, I guess. What happened there? Like, suddenly, yeah, this got, like, really serious. Jeez. What? Okay. Um. Things are serious starting and now. In the middle of the World 1 castle, the vibe of everything abruptly changed. Wait, where am I supposed to use that thing, though? Like, like, is there a difference in the pipe you take and that can lead somewhere, like, different and unique? I mean, it's technology we've seen before in, like, the VIPs, for example. Just not something I'd expect to see. Alright, well, well, we're gonna see this cutscene. You might have seen it before. You press the thing and then the castle crumbles. Uh, Marl recovers first egg from the starving Iggy. Well, so he's starving, so we just... I mean, yeah, he's starving, so he stole our egg. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how... <laughs> Search of a frying pan. Also egg, probably. I'm so used to the weird continuation. Yeah, right! I keep forgetting. We're on the big map here. Let's look at the... Whoa, fish! Let's look at the big map for a second without- so World 7 is this huge field. Well, there's three there too, so I don't know. But there's two in the desert, which is also pretty massive. Everything is just real big. Press L and R together to re-enter a castle, you fool. No, something- this is, there was an alternate room. I need to get there again. Is that it? This is it. This alternate passageway. Or is it just that it didn't load? Okay, I think it just didn't load. Well, that's just awkward. Is there something in the entry room then that you use the Goomba in? Like, I know, I, I'm pretty sure there's always something, but... Maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe I forgot where you use it? If I just forgot where I use it, or if World 1's just the exception, someone give me just a little vague hint? Cause now I just kinda confused myself. <laughs> this is that it's not a world! Uh, it, progress is not gonna stay that quick. Like, oh no. Believe me on this.